Radio Raheem here with Errol Spence, newly crowned World to Weight Champion of the World. Yeah, I see you wear your belt around your wrist, wrist now. Got a lot of bling going on. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, nah, my belt's at home. <laughs> all right, well, this is not home. You've taken a trip all the way out to Brooklyn, New York. Why are you here? Oh, I'm here to watch the fights, man. You know, like I said, I'm a boxers fan at the end of the day. Um, Adrian Bronner and uh, Garcia is going to be a great fight. Even um, the, um, the heavyweights, that's going to be a great fight, too. So, And I'm here to watch Rasheed Warren, too, put in work. So. And I'm a boxing fan at the end of the day, and I come here to watch great fights. You know, you've had a goal a long time, becoming that welterweight champion. You had to chase Kell Brook. You had to wait a little bit. You had to give another guy a shot before you, all that. And you got the goal. Since that's happened, has, has there been any major changes in your life? How are you feeling? What's different? Um, no, nah, not necessarily. I mean, I'm still in the gym. I'm still training hard and, um, you know, still spending time with my, my kids and everything like that because with me, it's all about balance. So, you know, I'm not going to do everything out, extra out of the ordinary that's going to, you know, change me for being successful in my next fight. So, i really been keeping everything simple and keeping everything the same so I come back my next fight and still fight the same. Well, not being a challenger anymore, being the champion, you got a target on your back, but you're looking to make the big money, make the big fights. What fight now are you targeting? Who's the challenger that needs to come in and uh, face Errol Spence? Um, it's really just, you know, anybody. You know, um, right now I haven't talked to my management about fighting anybody right now, but, you know, it's all the big names. You know, I want to fight even the names that I called out before I, when I was a challenger. You know, I'm willing to fight them. You know, it's about getting the big name, the big name fights, and, um, you know, pleasing the fans. So that's what I'm all about. Let me give you a chance to break down. Obviously, it's just 24 hours and, and a little change away. You came all the way out here for this fight, so you know it's going to be a good one. How do you see it playing out? Um, you know, Adrian Brown is always in, you know, tough fights. You know, he makes them tough. Uh, Mike Garcia, I like him. He's fundamentally sound, has a good jab, throw everything right. So um, I see it playing out being a little chess match at, at first start because Mike Garcia starts slow and Adrian Brown starts slow too. And I see it picking up in the later rounds and, you know, Adrian, he's a guy, he has a lot of dog in him. So I think Adrian's going to walk towards him. It's going to be, you know, an online fight. In just a little over a month's time, a fight that we've been anticipating. We Everybody couldn't wait to see Kell Brook and Errol Spence. Now we can't wait to see Triple G and Canelo. How do you see that fight breaking down? Uh, I'm going for Canelo. Um, I think Canelo's, you know, fundamentally, I think he throws more punches, um, even though they're spurts. But, you know, he throw punches. He throw them at different angles. And he just let his hands go more than Triple G. I feel like, like Triple G throw one shot at a time. And um, I feel like Canelo's going to be the guy that's going to press the issue. And, uh and basically win. You know, uh, people are really looking at like maybe a, a, a Thurman Sp Spencer matchup. Are you willing to wait for him to heal up and, and, and be ready to fight, or are you looking to take something in between? Uh, I'm going to fight this year. I'm going to fight. I'm going to definitely fight this year. But, um, you know, 2018 early, you know, we can get it on, but I'm going to fight this year, just stay busy. I'm not going to wait on anybody. Last time I waited, I was out like nine months. So there's no telling when Keith Thurman going to come back. You know, he's all across seas, just got married and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not going to wait on him to dictate when I fight again. There's not a whole bunch of year left. Are you in talks with anybody whose name's on the table? Uh, I'm not in talks with anybody. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's still, we still got October and November. So hopefully, you know, in October and November, I get a fight in. Now, lastly, you know, there's a big heavyweight fight coming down, not just Saturday night, but after Joshua Klitschko, which I assume Joshua's going to repeat the same outcome, eventually we're going to get Joshua and Wilder. Break it down for me. Well, it's going to be a tough one. Um, I think, you know, Joshua can't get hurt like he did with Klitschko with, with Deontay because Deontay is a guy who's going to jump in and try to finish him. And, he, you know, he throws punches. He throws awkward punches, too. So um, it's going to be an entertaining fight with me. I think whoever will really get hit solid first is, is the person that's, you know, probably going to lose. You know, these two fighters that we see Saturday night both have different personal lives. You've known for being a clean-cut guy. You've stayed out of trouble. You're a champion now, so you're going to have to keep that up. But uh, <laughs> Bronner has the opposite kind of approach. Mikey's more like you. Do you think that the outside antics, what happens outside in your personal life, really affect majorly what goes on in the ring? Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, everything is fixed what you, what, you, what, you do, what you do in the ring, especially if you do it while you're in training camp and stuff like that. So you got to give yourself some time to train and you know, stay focused and focus on the fight. You know, it's a 12-round fight with another elite fighter. I mean, it can play a part, and, you know, sometimes it don't catch up to people, but, 
you know, as you get older, it'll play a part. I mean, when you're younger, you can get away with a couple of things. You get away with a lot of things you can't really get, get away with when you're an older fighter because your body doesn't, you know, adjust well to that. Hey, man, a lot of people think we're twins. I want you to keep winning. I want you to keep getting championships. That, I don't know about that either. I don't, I don't see it myself, but wait till you see the comment section. So you keep winning, so maybe somebody will give me one of these watches on consignment. <laughs> Radio Raheem, with world champion, welterweight, Errol Spence. Good luck, man. We can't see you back in the ring this year. Appreciate it.